Hello everybody and welcome to the D-Moon Show. I'm your host D-Moon and once again we're playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I left for a moment to go do something and Mario has fallen asleep. So has Goombella. Well, unfortunately I can't see if the puny has also fallen asleep. But I probably didn't. I thought that was really cool. Madam Fury, hello? If you're here, say something. Yeah, if you don't, I'll break all your stuff. Eek! No, I would have the question. You mustn't come in here. Um, Madame Fairy, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footprints. Is that you, Puno? Or Puno? Oh, it's been ages since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Oh, well, the thing is, we have the problem. The great tree entry hall is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so they're... So... They're in a pickle. <coughs> and Mario needs the crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madame Fury. Flurry? Oh! Is that all, dearie? He came all the way here just for that. My adorable little Pino, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamely... I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? This is somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the bless blessed thing. I suppose I dropped it on my daily consent or something. It'd be simply scandalous if anyone saw me without it. So I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. <coughs> oh, I totally know what you feel. If I go out, when I go out with all my, go out, I'm all about my other accessories. Hey, wait a second, you lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do you speak up? You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue about my necklace whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. After that, I will most certainly join you and uh, help my squishy little friends, Punio. Don't worry, Madame Fury. I'm sure Mario can find Necklace. Word is, he's super. You could do it, right, Mario? Yes, you are. Great, it's the side then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you, sir. So, dramatization. Alright, let's go find this necklace that we actually know where it is. <coughs> Beldrum, I told you. You blame me for losing the sketch, but you had it. Silas, you twit. Now is not the time to get hang up on the stupid details. We must study the sketch. Wow, Mario looks manly. Check out the bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovely. I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ick! Mr. Mustache! Hey, go, go, go! Yeah, I don't believe this, Vivian. This is without a doubt your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the. Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. <sighs> it's not fair. And about the necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. And since you caused this pain, you have to figure out how to find this Mario Chump. Uh, go? I swore the other one talked. Oh. It's been a while, so. Properly not. Let's go get the necklace. If only we knew where it was. It's like the, uh. The buzzard in uh in the desert. That's like, yes, I'm looking for Mario. I've seen him for Lord Bowser. And I was like, no, I haven't seen him. And then he's like, okay, you can go past. Or you go, yes, that's me. And then he's like, oh, I'll get you. I got all my. Pretty far in the ground here, boogles the mine. Boggles the mine. Oh, is it Boggly Woods? That was boogly. Oogly boogly. Uh, rising star. Nice. Okay, how 
How many? Oh, four. Okay. I was like, yeah, you know, maybe I won't use uh, Coop's move. But then I see, yeah, there's four of them. And I need to take them out quickly. all that experience. Oh, I might level up after I beat the sisters. I was actually surprised that I hit it. by one. Ah. Arg. Got him. Yeah, those guys are actually a pain. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go save. So if something goes wrong, I can at least go back. Well, if it isn't Mario, Shawnee must ask or no. You can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Because we're waiting for you. Uh, oh, I remember. They're the ones... Hey, wait a second. Maybe you've been waiting for Mario. That sounds suspicious. <laughs> we have no quarrel with you, but if I we cannot allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Oh, scary lady. How do you know about the map of the crystal stars? Have you been talking about this peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyways? <laughs> Those who seek the name are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The Three! Shadow Sisters! The Three Shadow Sisters? Vivian, Yum Kumpu, what are you babbling about? It's just shadows, the three shadows. Sisters, make us sound less mysterious and less scary. How many times must I remind you? Uh, racist, I'm sorry. It's just, it makes me really happy when you call me your sister, so. How would Sifter Slob? Ugh, you have fierce parents pardon, when coming. Oh, jeez, I hate being punished. And for later, though. That's for later, though. First, we must deal with Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Mario and Vivian. The mighty of the three shadows relations withheld will be more than enough to win the day. Okay. Now, there's a whole thing that, like, Vivian's trans is supposed to be, like, a boy. But, like, now that I'm, like, looking at all of them, I feel like they're not actually sisters, they're just, you know, they're just from the same tribe, the same people. It's most unlikely that our sights are set upon you. Well, unlikely for you, of course. Because she's, like, old. The middle one's, like, probably the same age as Vivian, just, you know, a little bit bigger. Maybe I'm Vivian. Show them precisely what you can do. So when she's like, oh, I'm glad you call me your sister, because she likes to think of them all as a sister. Or a group of sisters, even though they're probably not related. Yeah. Yes, sis. Maybe. I don't know. Alrighty. Uh, oh. Goombella. Tattle. It's Vivian, she's the youngest of the three shadows. Nice of you to end this. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Um, she's kind of cute, I guess. She might be cuter than I am. I guess. Wow, I think I might be jealous. Yeah. Because they're saying, like, she's supposed to be, like, trans and stuff. But, like, Goombella would have probably mentioned something about that. In her book. 
And I guess that was like a big controversy that was happening with this game because I guess in the original translation it said the same thing, and then the Ameri or the uh, English translation stated differently at that point. Yes, by the way, she's one of the three shadows. Brilliant's younger sister. By the way, guys, okay, though. Says here, though, she's the toughest of the sister who might be the best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she didn't have anything particularly outstanding characteristics. Just burn them all. Charge attack fire is now boosted. Oh! Tiny attack button now dropped. This is Bella. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the three. But her ability attack is an attack fire too. She can make her partners big and make us tiny. And attacks with weird magic. The worst thing about her is that the sisters snicker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you want to avoid with plague, you know? I don't think that will actually flip them. Okay, good. Items don't... aren't lowered. That's not Mr. Mustache. I guess it's time to stop toying with you, huh? What are you doing, Vivian? You twit? I'll never forgive you if you lose. Sorry, sis. I kind of feel like Vivian's not actually their sister. I think maybe the two are. Like, Vivian and the other one is. But, like, whenever it comes to, like, Vivian, they, they never treat her like a sister. Okay, I might get in a fight just so I can level up. <laughs> Maybe we're just overconfident. We're the Vivian, you lumps. We wouldn't have, we would have won if you two pulled your weight. What do you prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home? <sighs> but put the necklace. Leave it. Aww. You got the necklace, Flurry's favorite necklace. As for his necklace, yes, let's take it to her. Uh, oh, that was actually the wrong button I pushed. Um, defend. Oops. Who will do us the honor? Finishing blow. That will get us a level up. Do a level up. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. BP. Put on that one badge that I probably want.
Alright, uh, oh no, I did have it. Okay. Uh, not that one. Uh, last stand is good. Um, I thought there was, uh... You know what? Since I have enough, I'll do that with you. And you. I forget if these things... Do they carry over? Uh, wearing two or more of the badge fewer decreases damage. Okay, so it does. Increase attack power at five when your partner only has one. Oh. Wear this to use Quake Hammer. Um. Or two new hours. Increase the attack power, but the move will require more FP. Yeah, damage dodge is the one that I really wanted. Increase attack power by five when the partner. Or more of these badges for the increase attack by five per badge. That's actually really good. But you'd have to keep your uh, partner uh, at one. Two or more. Further boost the defense by one badge and has no effects. Okay. So it's like, yeah, you can do that. But you'll still be affected by attacks that uh, negate damage. Isn't, uh, not too bad, actually. But we got the necklace. We got the happiness. Come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. As far as I can go. I'm surprised that they didn't do, like, little mini-games with all the, uh... Yeah, let's just avoid him. I want to get that. Oh, no, I did level up. All right, let's fight him. Ow, oh, I was hoping to hit him. He's usually he's accompanied by a cleft. Ooh, it's actually both of them. Yeah. All right. Uh... Now, nah, let's do that. special for that move. Alright, just gotta be careful. Alright, now I can jump. Hey, yeah, take that. Noise. All right, let's keep going. Oh yeah, since I probably have enough room, temporarily electrifies a party member, so they damage direct dealers or something. So anyone who attacks me with melee just gets hurt themselves. Which actually would help a lot if I was fighting a blooper, because they uh, they attack the arms. All right, let's get save. Game saved. All right, let's keep going. Let's open. Oh, pull me, pull me. Oh, when will my precious necklace again? Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you so much to see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh splendid, splendid! Oh my ravishing necklace! I'm so ah oh, with joy. Oh. Yeah, the other ones are like, whoa, what's going on? Mario's like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh my word, Mario, isn't it? You are my heroic little necklace hunter. Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. Me? I simply must thank you for your 
graciousness. I won't say generosity, but that wasn't it. But how do I do it? And perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar. No, no, it's okay. Here I come, Hampson. Time to give you a proper thank you, pucker up. <laughs> Mamma mia. Oh, no, she's a succubus. So is life force. Oh, Mario, you're just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Oh, poor little, poor little puny there. A little red and uh, little dazed. Please, no. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you looking, truly looking for the crystal sauce? The very crystal sauce spoken by all the lowlifes in Royal Court. Then, I danger Phil's search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking about how frightfully boring it was. It's time for a change. Ah. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble. And I want to keep you safe. So I dare you. So I dare say I will be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario? Oh, yeah. Fury, join the party without consent. Fury's ability is a primer. While well, Preston X, Fury will exhale a strong gust of wind that can blow things away. Now hold down to blow that paper away. <sighs> blow, blow, blow. That may have went from suck to blow. Oh, that was a good baseball game. Maybe. I gotta watch baseballs again. If she's blown the direction of an enemy, she can uh, make it head spin for a bit. Hold this to make it head spin. Wow, wow, wow. That glue is a primer. Would you like to. Do you feel like your master of your ability? Yes! Yes, uh, Void Speaker. She can also smash a in battle with a body slam or blow them away with a gale force. The power of the gale force! It's wonderful, it's so nice that Fury likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. Even more importantly, Fury's sure to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. Yeah, I think she's like part of those uh, Nimbus uh, uh, people. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Great Tree. Like the uh, the cloud that we have back there, or the clouds that we fight here. I think she's like part of their uh, their species. But she's also like a wind spirit, so she's probably a little bit different. I can do that. I can't remember. Okay, yeah, Mario needed help. Mario there, hiding his big smirk with his uh, mustache. He's like, oh, yeah. She does look really shocked. Oh. I like Fury. She wasn't too bad. What are you? Uh, Rogue for today. Bring you all up to date. Up to the moment news as it happens. We have the Israel Hammer incident at the parlor west of Roport. Outraged by the high printer prices, Gumfrey is suspected of violently shaking the par Pinata changer, causing the Penner changer alarm sound, which led to a changer shaking. Fraction for. Oh. Function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. Victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Ah, uh, get all the host items news. Okay, uh, Petalboro is your destination. You can't miss a shop that has been ta talk of the town for the last whatever. Because it's probably been there for that long because there's only one shop there. Friendly owner has a long time thought it would be the most edgy little bachelor in town. But where do you secret in love with a girl at the inn? The wise and witty shopkeeper had this say. You only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at the... Uh, oh, my God. Cooking for recipes. Oh, my God. There's so much. I'm just going to go through it. Okay, that was it. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Get her done. All right. Anything th this way? No. Okay. Hey, kiddo, you need something from the old Battlemaster? Nah. 
Gotcha. Give me some time to figure out a new secret and come back whenever. Wow, secret entrance. That's the secret entrance. Oh, it's also labeled and have flashing lights. Yes, we can finally get inside. Here I go! Her puny is just the most precious little things. Mario, I feel Miss S. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva on the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me. So I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their li pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize I shall ever love. I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine upon me again. I must. As you can see, these poor little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them whenever I can before I go on my own adventure. Mario, can you hear me? I learned how to use this high-tech door. Check it out. I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here. Oh, you let the door shut. The time has come for me to repay the, my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Yeah, he is. Woo! Car crush. Oh, no. I'm on the way here. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everyone, come out! Hello? Oh? oh. What? Who do you guys? How do you get in here? Whoa, dude. Is that... Isn't that Mario guy? What? He is? Oh, we better get him then. But dude, don't jump to us. Tell him immediately if I'm Mario, remember? You idiot! Use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah. Throw it on. Let's rock this champ. One, two, three, break! Dun 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 it's not even like a really release, it's like a remaster or something. Oh, no, I want to... Because there are subtle changes, like it's not like a full-on remake of the game. Or, like, it's not a full-on remake of... Maybe it is, kind of. But it's not like a, a real release of the game, because they did add in a lot of subtle, small changes to everything. This is in it. This here is caused by an enemy combatant. Description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? Four, attack is three, defense is zero. They drink these potions and make them big and burly. Then they attack. One easy, but there's two or more. Better watch out. Use your partner's moving items to take them down. Oh. All right, Mario used this thing to uh, switch. Yes. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I want to switch over that poop. Unfortunately, I would love Madame Fleury, but she's uh, she'll probably only be able to deal two damage, while poops can deal three. Oof. That's a lot of damage. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Yeah, yeah, shooting star. Which is great to have. They gave me quite a bit of points. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Crud! Crud! A stung man! Dude, 
Maybe I'll report him back to old Crump. This is just a bad idea after all. Run, run, get out of here. Lock the door behind you. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everyone else go? What could probably make everyone leave? <gasps> Finally, someone showed up. What are you doing hiding back here? Come on, for peace sakes, I found us a powerful ally. He, he's huge! Are, are you the huge Masatua man who wouldn't try to eat us? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? Oh, oh. He's massive, I don't like him. He'll crush his dangers. Nice stash, so burly. No, no, everyone. This is Mario, he's our friend. He's here to help. Holy bad guys. Mario, stop every last one of them. Just like those last goons. All right. Isn't that? There's so few. What do I make do? Let's me formally introduce Mario. Wait. How do we really know the burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Uh, poon. Poon. Uh, nip. What are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. That's bad. If you don't listen to yourself, try to sound all important like. We have no idea what kind of trouble we've been through while you were gone. And why are there so few of you here anyways? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The elder everybody, including your sister. What? Pad Uni? Everyone was captured and taken over without this big tree. They said that it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we never had it. Oh. Well, that's obviously it. tears it. We've got to, we all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything about these giant goons and adding to this hairy old man. To our ranks won't help a bit. How could he say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we're all together, we can take on anyone, anywhere. I'm, I'm a little confused about why they don't bring in Madame Fleury, because like they, they'd probably believe him with Madame Fleury out. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pull our strength. Punio, <laughs> Punio, Punio, you have to convince me, because I think you're losing it. Tell you what, you, Mr. Message, there. There can get a revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your crusade. Huh. Like that will ever happen, please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on. Follow me to glory. Let's help them. Yeah! Yeah, let's get my man Fidelity out. Do they all come out after? Oh, no, it's just them. Uh... How's my health? Okay, so I should probably... Okay. So I'll do this. If I can hit it. Alright, heal myself up. Accidentally hit that again. And hit the save. Alright, and then I'm going to end the episode here, and we will start in the boogly tree. Or the great tree. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time as we play more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Hope you're all having a good day, and if you're not having a good... Yeah, I hope you're all having a good day. If you're not having a good day, I hope that things turn around. You do, in fact, have a good day. So until next time, take care, farewell, and have yourselves a good one. Just going, yeah, I have no uh, no badge remaining. That's fine. Uh, Flurry is a cloud spirit who can control the wind. All right. Bye-bye.